Bring it out. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Seek ye out of the book of the what? The Lord and read. Read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. Come on. For my might it, it saying, had commanded. On. It say, seek out the book of the Lord, which is the Bible. We know that. And read. It say, none, to answer your question, none shall want her mate. I can't make this book, this Bible, with another book of Enoch. I can't right. make this book, hold on, hold on. I can't make this book with the Quran. Because this book is a book of history, prophecies, history and prophecies, right? Now, hold on, you with me? I'm with you. Okay, hold up. Now, we know there were other books. When you read throughout, there were other books. There were the Bible the refers you to those books, though. Like what? Like the Book of Jubilees, the Book of Maccabees, the uh, yeah, we, of Enoch. That's what I'm about to show you in the book. I'm saying so. Uh, all of the Hebrew text is actually good, though. All hold of up, it is hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm about to finish your question. Because you get more understanding. I'm answering your question. We're going to see. What's the original Bible? I mean, uh, as far as the. Uh, 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 what they well, call don't it? you want to know, right? The Septuagint. The original Bible? No, Septuagint or something like that. The Apocrypha uh, being a part of it that was taken out. Yeah. We're going to read this. We're going to read this. Read, uh, let them know yeah. what you read. The so called white scholars put this together. We didn't write this. They wrote this. We was in slavery, right? So they put this together. We're going to see what they said about the Bible. So read that for the uh, people. Read King James. Read, uh, read uh, King James. King version. James Version. And read the highlight part. King James Version. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars. And what? Greek, Hebrew and Greek scholars. Because the Israelites were under Greek, what, captivity, right? right? So in 47, the best Hebrew and Greek scholars right. of the day were divided into... So these, so these weren't regular men. These were scholars, scholars, read. Of the day were divided into six groups. So divide these men up. 47 men divided into six groups. Three for the Old Testament. I'm answering your question, sister. Two for the New and Three. one for the apocrypha. See, she walked off. I got. Th I, I'm answering. I'm answering it. I'm answering it. It's oh, okay. Yeah, read that part okay. again. Shut up. Get out. Three for the Part Old one. Testament. So you had 47 scholars. Three groups for the Old Testament. Two for the New. Two groups for the New Testament. That's what you know about Old Testament, New Testament. And and one for the apocrypha. And you had one group for what? The apocrypha. So one group was for the apocrypha. And what's, what? What we read? Of? The King James Version. So the King James Version Bible has the Old Testament, Apocrypha, and the New Testament. That's yes, right. Yes, yes, when you read like the Standard Bible that you buy at your stores, you see this? It's all in the Christian churches, right? They got this Bible. So you got that page that say Old Testament, New Testament, which only means Old Covenant, New Covenant. That's all Testament means. But they don't have the Apocrypha in it. So the Protestant whites took out the Apocrypha out the Bible Apocrypha mean hidden books. Why? They took it out. Because they didn't want you to know certain history because the Apocrypha Jews links. Jews and Gentiles. I got you. The Apocrypha links the Old Testament with the New Testament. Huh? 
Because what's y'all, what, how y'all doing? Y'all know her? Yeah, okay. We teaching that we are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the Israelites. We're not African Americans. That's right. We're not black or so-called niggas. We're not that. The truth about who we are as a people has been lied to us. Do we not come over here in slavery? Do we not? Do we come over here? How do we come over here to America? Get this out. I'm a shit. Huh? I'm a shit. Look at that. We came over here to America. We came over here to America on the ship. Real quick, I'm gonna catch y'all. Did you know that's in the Bible? What's your question? Uh, okay, so when Moses went up You know you Israel, right? Yeah. Yeah. But they don't know you Israel. I'm about to show you one thing. Read right. that out the Bible. I'm about to show you what you just said is in the Bible. And you see now the Apocrypha was taken out of the Bible, right? Because yeah. they didn't want you to know certain things. Right. Like even the Apocrypha say they took all our images, the dark images, and painted them white. That's why we think this is Jesus. She don't believe that. Give me first Maccabees 348. The Apocrypha, because you can buy it separate. You can buy the Apocrypha separate, King James Version. It came out the Bible. Now, since we got his, Bible and the Apocrypha. I got a Bible with the Apocrypha in it, right? He just showed you. Now, when you read the Apocrypha, I'm about to show you what I just said. They took all of our dark skin images right. and painted them white. Right. During the Renaissance era. You read about the rebirth, we learned that in school, the Renaissance era. The Renaissance era. We learned, okay, with the Dark Ages, get first Michael Beach 348. You got the Dark Ages, right? What was going on in the Dark Ages? Hold on, bro. But they don't know. You know a little bit. What was going on in the Dark Ages? They make us think it was just nothing. It was just blank. No, hell no. The Dark Ages was called the Dark Ages because black people ruled the world. That's right. We ruled this continent. Right. We ruled in Europe. Right. We ruled all the eastern region. Right. I'm about to prove that what I'm saying. That's why we grow up thinking this is Jesus, because during the time period, they wiped out all our images. King David was black, King Solomon black, Joe black. Uh, give me that, uh, who that king was over there that ruled London? Um, King, king James. King James was a black man, they say King James was a white man. When you do your history, King James is a black man. Let's get I, the artifacts. I'll praise the most high. Hold on, if you gotta go, you gotta roll. I, 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 I just, Look right. right here, look at these images. Who this, who this is? This, this, this that's Mary, right? Mary and that's Christ. Mary got the picture of Christ right here with the baby. You see that? Those are black images. But we don't know this. Look at the book we read. We read in Look Icon up. and Devotion. What color Christ on the cover? Look on the cover of the book. We come out here and teach our people these things because they don't know. That's how we see each other as niggas because we don't right. know what we really roll to. Right. We gotta see Christ in each other. Right. When we prove it, okay, dang, now you got that shocked look on your face. Like, dang, it's really real now. Now I'm about to show you why they took the Apocrypha out of the Bible. Right. Read Keep that. Out. Read that. First Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. Read. And laid open the book of the law. The heathen, the other nations, the Europeans, the Romans, laid open the book of the law. They found our Bible when they conquered us. They found our Bible and said, hey, these people are dark skinned. These people are people of color. Right. Read. Wherein the heathen. The who? The heathen. The heathen did what? Had sought to paint the likeness of their images. They sought to paint the likeness of their images. That's why you see they say, dang, we got to change that. We're gonna paint him as a white man. Look at the angels. You see this? They black. The angels are dark skinned. You got black angels. Look at the look at you got uh Mary, you got the baby Christ, you got the uh the disciples around right here. You see that? Who is this right here? Teacher! Those are the wise men. The wise the three wise men, exactly. One, two, three. You got the three wise men, right? But that's why they say uh the three wise men, you know, uh that was the meaning behind Christmas. That's not behind Christmas. They brought three wise men brought him gifts, Christ, because he was the king. You bring the king. Gifts and tribute. They knew he was the Messiah. Look right. What color they are? Look at the texture of their hair color. Who got hair like that? Black men. Black men. Black women. Us. Right. Our people. Y'all see that back there? Right. I want y'all to look at this. Cause we gotta know these things. We gotta get our mind reprogrammed to understand we more than who we think we are. Right. We, ain't, we shouldn't be baby mamas. We shouldn't be acting out. You understand? So we gotta get this history though. But that's why they took the apocrypha out of the Bible. That's why they say you wanna hide something from a nigga. What you do? In book. See that? Right. House of a nigga put it in the book. Cause we don't like to read. Right. But our history, the Bible is our history. The That's Bible right. Is black history. That's I know right. Black Panther Party. This is the black. This is the black movement right here. That's this right. This is revolutionary right here. Right. But we gotta be taught that. Read that again. Read that again. Look at all these images. Read. Chapter three, verse forty-eight. 
38. Come on. And laid open the book of the law. The Bible. Wherein the heathen. The other nations. Had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Of their what? Images. Of their images. That's why you have an image of Christ as white. This is really Caesar Borgia. The second, the Caesar Borgia, a real man that lived, he is uh, Pope, Pope Alexander, Alexander the sixth of Rome. His son, Leonardo da Vinci, painted his son during the Renaissance era. That's right. You understand? Give me a, a, a Malachi one. So that's why at the uh, 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 at the Last Supper, everyone is on white. that picture of the on Last Supper. Yeah. Exactly, the image of uh, Mary was white. The image of Christ is white. And at the Last Supper, they painted the likeness of their images. Of their so images. Mike. So of their images. That's why you will see this everywhere. And we just can bring a little baby up here saying, which one is Jesus? Which one do you think they're going to say? They're going to say, this right, right here. Right we'll, yeah. this, he on everybody. Yeah, on this everybody. is Jesus. Because yeah. it's meant to program us in slavery. You got what I want? Why Four. Why one? Start at start uh, one. Start at one. I want you to understand. Hold on. Hold on. I want y'all to understand this. I want y'all to understand this. I want y'all to really listen close. But when you have this image in your head as Christ, as the Savior, you see the Savior as that white man. How would you look at that race? As they are the Savior of the people, of the Savior. Now when you see the other people, the dark skinned people say, well, dang, they ain't the Saviors. They ain't the Saviors. This so is Marcus. They don't, we don't see each other as gods, as princesses, Camera as daughters of Sarah. Because our forefathers are Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Camera your Camera. forefathers is Rebecca, Sarah, Bring the whole Mary, Martha. That's your foremothers. Right. These are righteous women that carry themselves and love themselves. They ain't carry themselves as bees and hoes and call each other that. We act out now because this is in our mind. You understand? But That's we, right. Program. I'm about to show you during the Renaissance era, Leonardo da Vinci painted this man during the Renaissance, meaning rebirth. Painted this man as Christ. That's right. Remember? Painted this man as Christ. I'm about to read that out the Bible. Take I'm about to read it out the Bible. I ain't saying disrespect, but I just got a quick question. Hold your peace. One, one second. All I'm about right, to read okay. that. Read that. Malachi chapter 1, verse 1. Read. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel. To who? To Israel. It's a prophecy about what's going on, what's going to happen. Read. By Malachi. Okay. I have loved you, said the Lord. The Lord said, I have loved you, Israel, because you so-called blacks, Hispanics, are the children of Israel. That's right. Like I said, we came over here on slave ships. That's in the Bible. I can get it for you in a second, but I want to show you this. No, stay right there. Yet he say, wherein hast thou loved us? How you love us, God? You say, how you love us, God? We down here going through all this, this hell. We the ones getting shot down in the street. How do God love us? Because we think like that. We must, don't be loved by God. We subconsciously thank them because all the stuff we go through. Read on. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? But the most I come back and say, was not Esau? Esau, the so-called white man, was not he Jacob's brother? Said the Lord, huh? yet I love Jacob. But the Lord come back and say, yet I love Jacob. People on this side, I love Jacob. And I hated Esau. And what? Hated Esau. The Lord right. said he hated Esau. The Lord said he hated the so-called white man. But y'all don't think that hate in the Bible. We was taught, God love everybody. God love everybody. But what the Bible just say? And I hated Esau. The Bible say he hated Esau, the so-called white race. Read on, we gonna see. And laid his mountains and his heritage Waste. And laid his mountains, meaning his, his heritage, to waste. He brought them down for being in power. We're going to see about that as we read on. Up for the dragons of the wilderness. Come on. Whereas Edom said. Whereas Edom said, the so-called white man, meaning this race. Right. Edom right. meaning come back to Esau. Right. He says, whereas Edom said, the so-called white man, his whole race. We are impoverished. We are down, meaning we are under the other nations. We are impoverished. This is the dark ages. We ruling now. Right. Edom said we down. We in province because we ruling. When you see all them images we have right here. Right, right. We was ruling. Esau was under us. We can't even think that. We was ruling. The so-called white man under us. They paying us taxes. Right. They paying us tribute. Right. Read on. But we will return and build the desolate places. But Esau, the white man said, hold on. But we going to return and build the desolate places. Going into the Renaissance. Because right. during the Renaissance, meaning rebirth, they rebuilt the empire. They came out, they started conquering, they started rebuilding themselves. Right. That's how you got Rome. That's how you got Greek. That's how you got America today. That's so right. America's extension of ancient Rome. Right. And then all the Egypt and stuff. Yeah. And, you, and you got on the back, you got the, uh, eagle. The, the eagle. Right? Then you got the, uh, the, the arrows in one hand and the, uh, the uh, olive branch in the other. Right. Right? 
Those are symbolic for them breaking away. And you got on the back of that say New World Order when you break down that translation of the funny looking right. They go into New World Order. Right. Read on. Thus said the Lord of hosts. They gonna rebuild. We, we was at the East was down, but they gonna rebuild during the Renaissance. Right. Rebirth. We learned about that in school. Read on. They shall build. God say they gonna build. But I will throw down. What he gonna do? I will throw down. That's how you know Christ is a black man by his speech. He said they gonna build, but I'm gonna throw down. Right. I'm gonna throw down the empire. That's they right. They built up America, but I'm gonna throw it down. But we can't see that right now. The prophecy said this kingdom of America will be brought down. That's right. That's right. Read. And they shall call them. We're gonna call them Esau. The border of wickedness. The what? The border of wickedness. They are the border of wickedness. That's when right. They became in power, and the Book of Maccabees get First Maccabees one. When they became in power, the world went into so much wickedness. The world was changed when they became in power. I have to read that for you in the book of, in the in Apocrypha. Cause you said why they take that out. One reason I showed you why, cause they painted their images. We just seen it. I want y'all to get this. Don't take her away. She getting it. I see her eyes back there. She getting it. Go ahead. What's your question? Thank you, sir. Y'all get a flyer. Hey, y'all get a flyer. All right. Moses went up on the hill, right? I mean, went up on the mountain. Uh huh. What all did he, did he receive? I'm just trying to get understand you. What all? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Read that. First Maccabees one and one. I'm about to read you. Say whereas, well, in, in Obadiah, we say he's gonna bring them down. He say when Esau, the white man, came in power. Evils was multiplied in the earth. Right. The world right, became bro, wicked when they became in power. I'm about to show you that. I'm about to show you that. I ain't just making up my own stuff. Read. First Maccabees chapter one, hey. verse one. Not the apocryphal. Hey. They something took out the Bible. That's something they want you to know. Uh, uh, yeah, and and it happened. You gotta give them two. After that, I mean, Alexander, I mean, son of Philip. Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian who came out of the land of Chetum, read, had smitten Darius, king of the Persians and Medes. Uh huh. That he reigned in his stead, Come on. the first over Greece. He reigned what? The first over what? Over Greece. Reading about the Greeks, the Greek Empire, the so-called Grecians. I know it might be a lot that y'all getting, but to get to understand, y'all gotta just Maybe. wait a second and get it. Y'all want y'all want the knowledge? Can I put on my feet? Reigned, put them on. Yeah, go put them on. Put them on. <laughs> he reigned over Greece. Get to the law. Alexander. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna yeah, get. Yeah, yeah. Read that. And made many wars. And won many strongholds. Start from the top. Because this is Alexander the Great. You ever heard of Alexander the Great? Right, we read about him. We read about him in our Bible. The Apocrypha. Remember, they took this out the Bible. They want us to know. Read on from the top. Alexander and, what? And it happened after the Alexander, son of Philip. Read. The Macedonian. Come on. Who came out of the land of Chetum. Read. Has smitten Darius, king of the Persians and Medes. So this Alexander the Great was a warrior. He smote Darius, the person the Medes. Read. That he, that he reigned in his stead, the first over Greece. So this is Alexander the Great reigned over the first ruler over Greece, the Greeks, the so-called white men. We're gonna break that down too. Now, go to verse uh, nine. nine. We're gonna see what happened when he came in power. You missed it, but I just broke it down to your daughter. Because y'all didn't know him. Read it. They put, they all put crowns upon themselves. So after he died. His homeboys, quote unquote, his his uh, uh, captains and generals, they put crowns on themselves. So did their sons after them Read. many years. Come on. And the evils were multiplied in the earth. And what? The evils were multiplied in the earth. So when they became in power, the Bible says evil were multiplied in the earth. Right. When the so-called Greeks, the Romans, the white man came in power, evils were multiplied in the earth. Right. That's why they took this out. They said, don't teach them niggas to read. They ain't gonna never pick it up. They ain't gonna never get it, but we waking up in these last days. Right. We waking up in these last days. God has put God has put his spirit upon us to understand this Bible. Right. We ain't gonna take what they say. We're gonna read it for ourselves and see. Right. We're showing y'all the understanding. Go back to Obadiah now. We're showing y'all the understanding. You, did you catch that? Yeah. Oh praise. I'm glad you did. I can see you caught it. I can see you caught it. You hungry for that knowledge. So you understand now why they were taking out the Bible. So that is the Bible. A pop of what is the Bible. Right. You understand that? So go back to open dialogue. First, uh, yeah, I'm close. Malachi. Malachi folks. Yes, sir. Yeah. So you see, evils is multiplied in the earth, right? So we understanding that we are the children of Israel, right? I'm showing y'all who the enemy is and who we are. I'm gonna get to the slave ships in a second. Read that. First, uh, first four. 
Whereas Edom, Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished. Edom said, they impoverished, they down. But we will return and build the desolate places. In the Renaissance. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Uh -huh. They shall build. They gonna build. But I will throw down. They gonna bring their kingdom down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. Because when they became in power, evils what? Were multiplied in the earth like we just read in 1 Maccabees. Right. They the border of wickedness. Right. Now go to Deuteronomy 28, 68. So your daughter said we came over here on slave ships. Is she right or wrong? They got some known fact. They make movies about it. Twelve Years a Slave, Roots, Django, uh, Color Purple, right? So we know our history. They make movies about that stuff, right? So I'm about to show you something. Do you know you're an Israelite, or you just kind of been knowing? You kind of just I know. You know. I've you. been reading a little bit myself. I'm trying to learn, you know, because okay. God been working on me. He won't let me sleep, you know. So I'm trying to get up, be right. obedient, and read His Word and pray. You know, I, I, I'm trying to get to where y'all are. You know, I'm working progress. I'm going to come I'm to the saying? school. And yeah. then I minister to people. You know, when he tell me to pray, if I'm standing somewhere, if he tell me to pray, I pray. Yeah. Why me? I don't know, but I know I'm not supposed to ask. I just want to be obedient. Well, we got a school you can come to. You got a school, you got a church, you say. You got a building, you say the school, because we are the church. The people are the church. So we call it the school. We learn and actually apply what we learn. Where is it at? Was, it's on uh, Terry Road. Give, give him a fly. Hey, Where? Soldier Michael. Flyers. 2460 oh, I got one. I got one. You got one? It's on the back of the flyer. Okay. So come live. Because I've been trying to find somewhere to go. Come, come, man. We here. What are we here for? I've been, I've been, I've been studying, man, for about four or five years now. You know what I'm saying? And, you so know, we gotta I got, I got one question for you. Though. What's your question? Okay. Is it wrong for me? Because I know the Bible says, you know what I'm saying, that we should, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know, should I call on the name of, I, I call on y'all. We just you dealt with saying? that. Oh, man. What do I call, you know what I'm saying, is it wrong for me to say Jesus? Because, you know what I'm saying, when I, if I post something on Facebook, I say all praise to y'all. You know we just dealt with what that. What are that we brother, supposed to say? That brother that just left had so that question. So if I say Jesus, am I worshiping an idol? No. no, you're not. We have to break it down. Okay. We break oh, it down. Okay. We don't, we don't <laughs> see what the Bible says. We I don't want to be says. saying, you know, because a lot, I of, got people, you, a lot you, of people, when you say Jesus, they think about that dude right there. Yeah, you know exactly. You what I'm saying? But the Bible says He's a, it's him. It's him. It's him. You it's know what I'm saying? Just like uh, when, when Moses was talking to God, he asked him to put his hand in his garment. And, his and it came, yeah, yeah. And it came out white. You know what I'm saying? Then he came back and put it back and then came back as a red. Psalm chapter 119, 142. We were just bringing that out and about the icons and the images. You just yeah. missed it. No, Psalm 119, 1, uh, 138. Get the, uh, 138 and 2. 138 and 2. Psalm 138 and 2. I was standing up here when y'all was talking about Oh, you about was? It. So you caught the images and everything? Yeah, I caught the images okay. the other book out. Yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to touch on the name. I'm going to touch on what we got to do now we know we Israel. Okay? So read that scripture, Psalm 138, verse 2. Because you want to know what we call him. Now that you know the truth, you want to know what, what God's name really is. Yes. I'm about to show you. Psalm chapter 119, no, 138, verse 2. I will worship toward thy holy temple. So King David said, I'm going to worship toward the holy temple. And praise thy name. Praise what? Thy name. So you're talking about the name. For thy loving kindness and for thy truth. And for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word. He magnified thy word. He magnified thy word. Above all thy name. Understand that? Do I need to go further? Go to, go to Sirach 23 and 8. So what is the name? I'm about to show you that he magnified the word above the name. Matter of fact, go to, go to uh, stop that, stop that. Go to uh, Exodus. I want the one to Exodus 3. Exodus. Exodus chapter 3, verse 6. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father. So remember he said in Psalms, he magnified the word above the name. You got the understanding, right? So the word, the word of God, the laws and commandments is above the name. That's right. You understand that? above the name. That's right. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Read. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. What's the one say, uh, Exodus, by, uh... Six and three. Six and three. Six and three. I thought I was there, You right, you right. Six you and three. Exodus chapter six, verse three. Check this out. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob. So Moses, I said, I appeared unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, by the name of God Almighty. By the name of what? Stop. God Almighty. So Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob knew him as what? God Almighty. Right. But by my name Jehovah. But by his name what? Jehovah. So God Almighty was 
the name Abraham and Isaac and Jacob knew. But by Jehovah was a not known to them. So they didn't know Jehovah. They just knew God Almighty. So was they wrong for not knowing Jehovah? The name of Jehovah? I don't want to lose you. What's your name? Right. Huh? Right. Psalms 138 and 2, Ray, said he magnified the word above the name. Now we're going to keep that thought. Keep that thought. So now we're going to exit. I want you to get this, Ray. I'm going to say something and I'm going to make it plain. The name don't matter. It's just a title. You understand? I'm going to use scripture to prove it. Heart, right? I'm going to use the scripture to prove it. Read that. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name. By the name, Abraham and Isaac and Jacob had the name of what? God Almighty. So all they knew was God Almighty. Got that right? But by my name, Jehovah. But by the name of Jehovah. Was I not known to them. But by his title, Jehovah, he wasn't known to them. They didn't know Jehovah. All they knew was God Almighty. Right. That's all they knew. So were they wrong for not knowing Jehovah? No. But the That's name right. don't matter. Right. You understand? It's simple, ain't it? Now go to Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, 6 and 9. That's what I want. Isaiah 9, 9 and 6. 6. You're right. 9 and 6. You're right. I want to show Ray the name just titles. It don't matter. Because we came over here in slavery, right? Right or wrong? Right. Was we speaking English when we got off that slave ship? Nope. What were we speaking? Hebrew, our native language. So when we came over here in slavery, the most high knew we wasn't going to keep that original tongue. You understand, Ray? The most high knew we wasn't going to keep our original language. So if we're going to keep the original language, what are we going to call it? How can we call it the original name when we ain't got our original tongue? Right. You understand? That don't make no sense. I understand y'all have questions and we're going to answer them. I'm not yelling at y'all. I just got to exalt my voice. You understand? We're the real preachers of this Bible. That's right. We're going to teach this word, thus saith the Lord, line upon line. We're going to give you the understanding. That's because right. The church ain't going to give you no understanding. Tradition. Tradition. Is it, is, it, is it true that they're on the laws, they're only supposed to teach you certain things according to something, uh, you're supposed to learn from 504 C3 or something that I'm they're, they're not supposed to preach you the truth? Yeah, exactly. These Christians pass the they are, yeah, they would have called the prophets come in. I understand what you're saying, yeah, but read that. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Check this out, Ray. Hey, I need you to hear that the name is what? Word is above the name. And I'm going to get to something. For unto us a child is born. Who are they talking about? Christ. Unto us a son is given. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Who is this talking about? Read. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. The new world government, when the Israelites back in rulership, shall be on his shoulders. Is he going to be our king of kings, Lord of lords? And his name. His what? His name. The name of Christ shall be what? Shall be called Wonderful. So his name is Wonderful. Counselor. His name is count what? Counselor. His name is Counselor. The Mighty God. His name, Christ's name is the Mighty God. The Everlasting Father. His name is the Everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. His name is the Prince of Peace. Look at all these names. Look at all these names. All these titles that we call on our Savior. You understand? Read. Do you, you got to understand? Yeah, now go to uh, Luke, uh, what's that, Luke 121? Yeah. Matthew 721. Mat yeah, Matthew, Matthew 721. 21. You understand, right? What's your name, sister? Maria, you understand? All praises. Y'all know y'all Israelites. The name don't matter. They just titles. So if another camp come up talking about you got to say this, they are damn lie. That's you right. Gotta That's right. You got to call on him as he say it. I'm about to show you how you call on him as he say it. Right. Read. Matthew 7, verse 21. Bring it out. Understanding. Soak in this knowledge, right? Read. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord. Not everybody that say, Lord, Lord. Shall Hold on. They say, Lord, Lord. If that's his name, Lord, translated to Yahweh, translated to Yahweh Shah. Not everybody that say, Yahweh Shahayo. Not everybody that say, uh, Yahweh. Right. Not everyone that says, uh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh. Not everyone that says Yehoshua. That's right. Not everyone that says what? Lord, Lord. Whatever you want to call him. Not everyone that says whatever you want to call him. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Not everyone that calls his name going to enter into the kingdom. So you can know the name and still not get the kingdom of heaven. Right. 
You understand, Ray? Yeah. Soak it in, my brother. Read. But he that doeth the will. But he, Sister Maria. But he or she that doeth the will of my Father. Read. Which is in heaven. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.